One of the longest and most challenging construction projects in Metropolitan's 80-year history came online October 1st. The Inland Feeder Project was completed when water began flowing through its 44 miles of large diameter pipelines and tunnels. Completion of the $1.2 billion Inland Feeder integrates Metropolitan's massive distribution system, connecting state water project supplies from Northern California with the district's Colorado River Aqueduct near the city of San Jacinto. The water's journey ends at Diamond Valley Lake near the city of Hemet in southwest Riverside County. The water line, which is about 12 feet in diameter at its widest, nearly triples Metropolitan's water delivery capacity from the state water project. Planning for the inland feeder began in the late 1980s following a study of Metropolitan's distribution system. The study found that the region needed additional storage and conveyance facilities to reliably meet growing demands and to respond to an emergency like an earthquake. Plans began for both Diamond Valley Lake, Metropolitan's largest storage reservoir, and the Inland Feeder. Construction of the Inland Feeder began in 1997. The construction project was one of Metropolitan's most demanding. Tunnels below the San Bernardino Mountains were particularly difficult and required special 500-foot-long mechanical moles to cut through extreme geologic conditions that ranged from soft zones of sand to rock ten times harder than concrete. The project route crossed several earthquake fault zones and encountered high groundwater levels that sometimes halted construction. Wildfires and mudslides also stood in the way of construction, sometimes damaging or destroying equipment. Completion of the project allows Metropolitan to deliver water from the state project when it's available in wet years and to store it in Southern California's reservoirs and groundwater basins. In dry years, the Southland can rely on these reserves to reduce the reliance on imported water sources.